Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're gonna be talking about what happens if you visit Arthur Morgan's grave with high honor, and what happens if you happen to visit his grave with low honor. There's actually some differences and some unique things that happen for each one. So if it wasn't obvious enough, the only time you can actually visit Arthur's grave is obviously at the end of chapter six, once you have reached the epilogue. That, of course, will be the only time in which you can visit this. Now, if you're wondering where it is, it's sort of in an interesting location. Uh, I would say it is just to the northwest of the Grizzlies East, to the northeast of Bacca Station, and southeast of Donner Falls. It's right next to that mysterious hill home, in case you guys are curious. So it's located on the top of a mountain as well, so it's a little bit tricky to get to. So let's actually visit Arthur's grave with low honor first and see what it looks like. And when approaching this place for the first time, you'll see that this is what it looks like. It's a pretty plain grave, but you can also see there looks to be like a black wolf or a coyote that is sort of standing and watching the grave or is sort of on guard. Now we'll talk about what that might mean in a little bit. But I certainly thought that was kind of interesting. Now, if you approach the grave or if you get close to it, the coyote will actually run away or the wolf will actually leave. You won't actually be able to interact with it or it won't start speaking to you or anything like that. And uh, once you get up close to the grave, you can actually inspect it. Uh, believe it or not, visiting all nine graves of your fallen gang members in game is required to get 100% completion and also a trophy or achievement as well. And you can see here that it says, Arthur Morgan, blessed are those who mourn for they will be comforted. So a very simple line right there and also on the surface level, a very simple grave. You can see just how beautiful the view is though. You know, you can see the big snowy mountains, you can see the plains and all the little towns and cities and stuff like that from this location. It really is a cool spot. However, I wanted to do a little bit more experimenting with this grave because as you saw the first time, there was that sort of coyote or wolf that ran off as we approached. And you might be wondering to yourself, why was a coyote or a wolf on top of Arthur's grave if you have negative honor? Well, I think this has something to do with the concept of the spirit animals in game, which was a big part of Red Dead Redemption 2. So depending on how your honor swayed, let's start with the negative honor, bad honor for now, you would actually see a wolf or a coyote appear a lot through Arthur's visions, like uh, in between cutscenes and in between missions as he was loading back into the world, you would see like a dark wolf running around and that would sort of symbol that Arthur was on a darker, evil path. And it looks like that the same thing has happened here at his grave site that depending on which way you swayed at the end of the game with Arthur, that's what would happen at the top of his grave, which is kind of interesting. Now, what's also interesting is if you had evil or bad honor as well, this would also be reflected in the ending credits of the game where you could actually see Arthur's grave. Now, the only known person to visit Arthur's grave so far that we know is Mary Linton. As you guys can see right here, she is grieving Arthur's death and it looks exactly like it does in game. Uh, we'll actually talk about some of the differences a little bit later on, but as of right now, she is the only person other than us, who's John, to actually visit Arthur's grave. Again, a really sad story right there. So I told you guys I wanted to go back and do some more experimenting with that wolf or with that coyote, and I wanted to figure out a couple of things. Number one, what was the distance in which it would start running away from us, and is there a way in which we could prevent him from running away? Because I was thinking, you know, if this is Arthur's spirit animal, would he be able to interact with us? Would he be able to talk to us? So I really don't know what the distance is here, but as soon as you get relatively close to the grave, the wolf will end up, or the coyote, will end up sort of running down this embankment right here, and there's really no way for you to catch up with it. It just sort of runs off, and there's no way for you to possibly catch up with it, unfortunately. So that was my first experiment. The second experiment I wanted to do, and I was not planning on doing this, I was actually using the scope of the rifle to see if I could get a more zoomed in view, but you actually cannot shoot at this coyote, 
which is kind of interesting. Now, it makes sense if, of course, this is Arthur, and if this is his spirit animal, you obviously wouldn't want to shoot his spirit animal, but I did find that kind of interesting, that you couldn't actually shoot him, like the game physically would not let you. So I got a little bit closer, and this time I wanted to see if I could actually follow the wolf or the coyote. I still don't know what it is once it went down the embankment, and I actually ended up finding it this time. So it doesn't scurry away too far, and what's kind of interesting is even though you can't shoot the coyote, you can still study it. But what's also interesting is it doesn't have a star rating like all the other animals in the game do, like one, two, or three. It simply has none. Now, upon studying it, this was a California Valley Coyote. I'm not sure if that's significant in any way or if that confirms that that is 100% Arthur's spirit animal. And after taking a quick tumble down the mountain, what's kind of interesting is I was able to get very close to this coyote without it really scurrying off. As you guys can see here, it was like next to me for a good bit, and then it eventually ended up running away. And I tried to track this coyote for as long as I could, but it eventually just got to areas that I couldn't get to. I got lost. I got confused. You know how it is when hunting animals in Red Dead Redemption 2. Sometimes you just lose them, and that's what happens. So bottom line here, I don't think there's any way to catch up with the spirit animal on top of Arthur's grave, but it was sort of interesting to try and follow it around, and it is unique that it doesn't have any of those properties of typical animals in-game. So now let's take a look at what happens if you visit Arthur's grave with good or high honor. And you can tell that there is a significant difference. So for starters, there are these beautiful sort of orangey pink flowers that surround the sort of tombstone itself, which looks really, really cool. So obviously that would indicate that Arthur was more honorable, was more lively. Uh, and you can also see that the spirit animal has changed from a wolf what looks to be to an eagle. So the wolf or the coyote is no longer there and now it is an eagle. And just like with the wolf, if you were to aim at the eagle, you cannot shoot it, you cannot do anything like that where you can harm it, and it doesn't have a star rating either and it will just simply fly away. Now, obviously there's no way to follow an eagle since we can't fly, but I did think that was kind of interesting. And upon examining the grave a little bit further, we can also see that the writing on the grave has changed too. It still says Arthur Morgan, obviously, but it says, blessed are those who hunger uh, and thirst for righteousness. So it is much more uplifting than the version we saw if he actually has bad honor, which is certainly kind of unique. Uh, I definitely think the high honor one is a lot better in my opinion. Again, that's just kind of what I personally think. Now, I was also expecting there to maybe be a stag here or a deer, because if we go back to the spirit animals, Arthur always had like a stag or a deer that would show up uh, as his spirit animal and as like a contrast to the wolf or the coyote. So again, kind of interesting stuff why he decided to get an eagle, but I think they do sort of go hand in hand. You do see a lot of eagle references throughout the game when Arthur does something that involves high honor. And you also see a change in the ending credits as well. Now, I don't think there's any difference as to what Mary Linton does, but you can clearly see that the grave itself is very different in the cutscene as well. So overall, I just think this is very impressive. The level of detail that Rockstar went into here is pretty incredible. Now, th what's important about Arthur's grave is it's the only grave in the game that will change. Obviously, because Arthur is the only character in which you can have an influence on their morality and all the other gang members that do end up passing, there's no way to save them where there's like a butterfly effect where you have a sort of an alternate reality of where one of the gang members survives or you can step in and try and save one of them. It, it doesn't work that way. So overall, this was really cool. One thing I did not try in this video, but I'm not sure if it would have any outcome is visiting the grave at different times of the day and also visiting during different weather patterns. Like would something unique or strange happen if there was a lightning storm or if it was snowing or when we visited when it was sunny, is that the outcome that you get for every single weather pattern? I might go back and do some other tests, but I think that right there pretty much sums it up. And that right there is what happens when you visit Arthur Morgan's grave in Red Dead Redemption 2 after you beat the game, if he has high honor or good honor versus low honor or bad honor. So as always, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. 
Let me know how you ended your game in Red Dead Redemption 2. Did you finish as Arthur with high honor or did you finish as Arthur with low honor? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.